Uh, hello, welcome to the Shedner Podcast. We're doing the Microsoft Conference uh, overall wrap up today. Yeah. Um, did everyone watch the conference? Yes, everyone enjoy I watched it. it live. I was quite impressed. As was I. I didn't was watch I. it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> but I've, I've seen quite a lot of. Uh, I've seen the snips. Yeah. yeah. Seen snips. Okay, cool. Microsoft's one's usually a bit too numbers for me. It's oh yeah, it's all about sort of promoting their yeah, brand usually, yeah. isn't it? So they opened, I think, strong with the oh, Xbox yeah. One S. Yeah, they were going in there with a punch. Yeah. Name they? Of they this straight straight in this was aimed at Sony yeah. right away. <laughs> Definitely. So, new console. 40% smaller. Good. Good. Okay. Fork. Oh, no, see, I've written this one wrong. So it's it does not support no, 4K. It does not support 4K video. Yeah, 4K video, you got HDR gaming. For me. I reckon, well, I, mean, I reckon that's going to mislead well, a lot of people that's going to yeah. buy one as well. Well, I yeah. thought initially that they were actually going to announce, oh yeah, it does 4K. Because the way he worded it came out like, oh, we yeah. do 4K gaming. Yeah. And then I checked earlier on another feed on the internet and it said, does it only support 4K video? Yeah. Right. It's yeah. the Scorpio. Yeah. This, is, this yes. is the slim to the one we have now. That's this right. is not like the Scorpio. No. This is the next sort of iteration. It's like a filler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Filler yeah it's exactly yeah. that. It's filler between while they're developing Scorpio. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's got a little bit of a st- uh, different design as yeah. well. So it doesn't look like the Xbox that we, that we know. Do you think it's ugly? I really don't like I it. Think I think it, it looks alright. Right. I, like I think it. it's alright. I really don't care what my console looks no, like. <laughs> that's a good point. I do not care. No. Like, how often do you look at your console and think, it's I don't like this? My console is tucked <laughs> under my desk. I haven't looked at it since Mine's I put not. It Mine's sat right under my TV. I can see it. It's staring at me. So there was a white one that they showed. Is it only a white one? Is it only I reckon... No, I'll do it. There's no, a black one. Probably, 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 probably just yeah. looks better in white. An Xbox One S Elite. You can see all the little holes <laughs> the way, in it. The way that flags against it. So the thing with this as well is that the power brick is not a thing anymore. It's no. inside. It's housed inside the console. Which is going to cause overheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know see what? Some problems. If it if it doesn't overheat, I'm going to feel really betrayed by this. You know, because it's like we every like compared to the Xbox One that we've got now, like the size of it, the brick separate, and it doesn't do anything 4K. It's massive here. Yeah, and it's like they've. I reckon they've had the slim was the original design. And it's oh, like, this, what have they been doing? Thing. If they can fit the power brick into yeah, this it, tiny exactly. box, yeah. But you'd, you'd think that Microsoft's R and D department have done some testing with this overheating business because three sixty. Yeah, notorious. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, they released or oh, they announced a new uh, controller alongside it. Yeah. So it's a different design. It's got a cool little it's grips. It's a little bit grips. smaller. Is it smaller? Well, it? I don't know. I you it told me it was smaller. No, smaller. you told me it was smaller. Right. Well, <laughs> okay. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. <laughs> okay, but it's got the grips and uh, the thumbsticks are a lot harder to wear down, apparently. So I found out that's a okay. big issue with, the, with my yeah. controller. Yeah, that's why so I want an Elite that. controller. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Never worn down for me. It must be the lack of playing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I've hammered mine. And just, yeah. you know, you've got like the little dots to sort of hold your grip. Yeah. Like, gone on mine now. Mm. So it's, I'm glad about that feature. Um, and they've announced that like, it's it, it's got a Bluetooth connection, so it's easy yeah. to sort of sync up to your, your PC. I, I don't like that. See, PS4 has had this, okay? And they've had been, they've been having troubles when they're doing like LAN events for the like, yeah actually yeah yeah I'd imagine that would cause stuff. a bit of people would have to switch off their phones when they're watching. Well, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I think it's going to be a new just... version of Bluetooth. Hopefully, yeah. They're not going to use the Bluetooth but... one point one point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't yes, play, you play a game at a crucial moment and it cut out the yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't think across. about that. This is for the casual audience, this isn't it? Yeah, but it's not going to replace the elite controller. If people want to do oh definitely not gaming, then they'll they'll have an elite controller. Probably have an elite. Probably. Uh, so that comes with the console, whichever version of it you buy. And there's three versions. Uh, one, the first one that's uh, been released is the two terabyte one. Yeah. Which comes with the stand, so you can you can, you can stand up vertically now because people. Wow. Do people yeah. want that? Do you want to stand your console well, vertically? Well, you can put it next yeah. to your TV, can't you? Instead of like. In my safe case, shelf classic safe. case, I haven't got like hardly any space. The Xbox One takes all of my space behind my TV where I keep my console. The behemoth. And yeah. the 360 was ideal because I could have another two consoles set up right next to it when the X360 was upright. So, yeah, I reckon that's a really... Yeah. But can't you stand up the Xbox One in? No, you can't. It is quite I think it's, that way. it's one of those things so where, like, this. a disc will get scratched. <laughs> Digital games, eh? Well, I'm sure it doesn't get... It won't get scratched <laughs> unless you move it. But the thing if is, you're already you notice, standing up and you turn it on, I think it'd be fine. You notice as well, there's two <laughs> vents on either side, so you're blocking one vent either way. Uh, okay. True that. Yeah. There's two other versions. One of them is a one terabyte version. Actually, the price for the two terabyte... It's three four nine pounds. Yeah, okay. And that's releasing in August, apparently, early August. Then there's a one terabyte one and a five hundred gig one, and they're two hundred ninety nine and two four nine respectively. And they don't come with the stand. You have to buy a stand separately. Yeah, which is twenty dollars. Uh, that was something else that they did that was a bit misleading. 
they were talking, oh, it's all two terabyte, two yeah. terabyte, and then they sent released an ad for it with a price, and it was like two yeah. fifty or whatever. Yeah, but that, that was a five hundred. Yeah, it was a five hundred. Yeah. Classic marketing. Yeah, yeah. Ma- it's starting. Yeah. 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 From, yeah. Yeah. from yeah, yeah, which is quite. But anyway, devious. did you use a stand with your three sixty? No. Do you remember the stand no. that you could I buy? I don't know what you're on about. You it's a stand. stand. You, just, you just stand up a 360 yeah. on its own. Yeah, but you, you had a stand and it could hold two controllers as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, I didn't use that. No. So it's just going to work normally without a stand, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that, that was that. was that. And then they, they were going on about their Play Anywhere thing, which is their, their go, switching I, between... I like this idea, okay? Because let's say you've got an Xbox and you've got, like, a gaming laptop. You go on holiday, you can play your Xbox games while you're on holiday. Yeah. It's a good idea. What's not to like? Or you can play it on... Or you can play it on a hardcore PC if you really yeah. want it. Is it the other way well. around as well? If you bought it on Windows 10, can <laughs> yeah. you play it on your... Three... Yeah, yes, yeah. you buy it on one, yeah. you get it on both. Oh, either right. way. Which either is... way, okay. Oh, another, another way you could look at it is you could have your Xbox in your front room and then your game in PC. Yeah. In it's cool, Yeah, but office. it seems like they're just exactly. killing off the Xbox One themselves now. <laughs> It's like, know. now we just don't have any exclusives at all. Well, Microsoft's motive uh, is to bring console. all their product family together, yeah. Yeah, but then they may as well just not have an Xbox. Yeah, but they're selling well, Windows as well as selling Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. They are Microsoft at the end yeah. of the day. But I think this is just going to push more people away. I don't think I so. I don't think so. Because there's, really there's, really so. there's, there's a line between PC and console gaming. I don't think that's blurred whatsoever with this announcement. I don't know. No. See, because if it's... Most people's dilemma is between <laughs> Xbox or PlayStation. And if you can get everything on PC, you may as well get a PlayStation for those exclusives that you're not going to be able to get on PC. Uh, but it also depends on what controller you like as well, because for me, I don't like a PS controller. Well, <laughs> no. you can use an Elite controller on a PS4 now. <laughs> what the? Really? What? Yeah, you can, use a, you can use an Elite controller. Whoa. It doesn't work on every game, but you can use an Elite controller on PS4. So it doesn't work on every game? No. So you can't really. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> on an Xbox, you can use it on every game. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Brilliant. Yeah. Love that, that feature. Um, the thing with this is, like, there's no more real exclusives for Xbox. But no. I don't care, but there's no more real exclusives for Xbox because everything they do is coming to Windows 10 it's as like well. It's like a Microsoft exclusive now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Xbox exclusive. yeah, yeah that's right. I think they'll probably end up using that terminology down the line. Yeah, I really don't mind it because I'm thinking of getting a game on PC anyway. There so. you go, yeah. It's fine. It's, that's fine as long as you've got the Do you reckon phone. Scorpio is just going to be Microsoft's version of a gaming PC? Seems like the hype. console there. basically is a small gaming PC. Yeah, it's but, the most powerful, not but it's, a, it's that's it, yeah. You can't do anything to it. You can't upgrade it or anything like that. you got to wait for the next generation. I don't think you'll be able to upgrade the Scorpio. Do you not? No. no. It's I just going to so. be a VR Space, race, baseline it? spec for VR, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so then uh, the first game they went into was Gears of War 4. Yes. They showed a gameplay demo, which was sort of showing off their co op play. Yeah, that, that, was, that was cool. That was, horde was mode, was it? Ah, yeah, they announced the Horde mode yeah. 3.0, yeah. which I'm really looking forward to. That's my favourite thing <laughs> yeah, about Gears yeah. Horde yeah. mode. I've not, seen, I've not seen anything of Gears of War from E3, but I read that. And it's like, Horde mode, yes! Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what you want with Gears of War 4. Yeah. Uh, did you guys like multiplayer for Gears of War? I. Um, Seems pretty I, I, yeah. I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. it. I think there's something special about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I played a lot of like yeah. Gears of War 1 yeah. and 2. 2 I played a lot of online. <clears throat> a lot. Well, oh, you on about co op here? Or... No, I'm no, just talking about general multiplayer, multiplayer online. Online, online. online. Oh, online, online multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. cool. So it's just more of the same, I think. They haven't really gone into it. No. I like it because if you're good at it, then you're going to win most games. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a formula to it. There was a formula use your shotgun, dive around. Yeah, but you have you to be win. good with the shotgun. That was it. Yeah, because yeah. I tried that and I just took it. <laughs> there you go. There is skill involved. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be released on October 11th on PC and Xbox One. For all the cross play that oh, they're doing. Shit. Xbox. Yeah, and then straight after, that, straight after that, they went straight into their sort of Ram uh, exclusive to Killer Instinct. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. one other guy came out in a kimono. Oh, was that Tekken? What was that? That was that was Tekken. Oh, no, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that guy's on the news. Yeah, that's Tekken. But like, um, Killer Instinct is turning into like the Smash Bros of Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of cool though. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Killer Instinct. I think it's a good idea. It's, it's the most popular um, fighting game on Xbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because it's free to play, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you can download it for free and have all the base characters, and then you yeah. buy 
all these packs yeah. that they keep bringing out. And apparently it's really simple and easy to pick up as well. So well, it's fine. Next, they went yeah. into Forza Horizon 3. Yeah! yeah. Which looks really nice. Yeah. Australia. 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 Strange map location, I reckon, but. But it right really here good. on Shed next. Oh, you can really 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 pick yeah. Australia. Well, well done. Uh, so, this is going to have a drop in, drop out four player co op campaign. Yeah. Does that Windows interest 10, Windows 10, yeah, and, so, uh, yeah. cross play. It is quite interesting because. As three used to like drop in and out of each other's yeah, multiplayer games, yeah, yeah, in, the, in, this, in Forza Horizon yeah. Two, and it was quite a faff to do it to start with. Yeah. So, what what do you think is like the co-op aspect of it? Because you're driving it's, cars. What's what's way where, where are you going to See, Horizon isn't just a racing game. It's like a free. It, it's an open world kind of racing game, right? So RPG you know, just, racing game. Yeah, <laughs> RPG I don't know racing game. It. Yeah, it's a lot deeper than just a racing game. You can just drive about the map, and your mates can drop in. They made that so. Yeah. I hope it's I hope it's that easy as they yeah. showed on the on the. Yeah, because on yeah. Horizon Two it wasn't. No, no, that's oh, simple. No. That's See, not. like you can just drive to like races and stuff like that on the map, and there's like cars hidden in sheds, in places on the map. Barn so, finds. Yeah, barn finds. Yeah. And they also announced that it's got the biggest car collection of any Forza game. Th- oh, about three hundred and fifty cars. Yeah. Do you know that's how many was on Forza Horizon 2? 200. Yes. So it's they've done loads. Yeah. Yeah. And it's more expected to come the DLC. Yes. They've got a more vast variety of cars as well. You've got your normal cars they had in Forza, all the sports cars and all the yeah. stuff. And you've got like um, Doom buggies. Yeah. You've got, got like... Dakar um, trucks. Dakar trucks. You've got like um, uh, hill climbing cars. Mm. There's more of a rally ex- aspect in this as well because in the second one it was a... Um, what was it like a DLC? Was yeah, it? it was kind of like a DLC yeah. rally. Yeah. yeah. So they'll bring it all together, which is ideal. Yeah, I'll probably get that. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. We had a conversation earlier the week, and uh, you were saying how much you, how excited you were for the game, and yeah. I was like, I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone back to it and looked at it, yeah. and yeah. now I'm like, I want to play this it's game. Good. It's good. Yeah, really it looks good. really cool. It's good. So I'm excited for that. I releases on September 27th. Yep. So not long. Not the day long. before my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mommy, can I have four of the three? <laughs> <laughs> then, okay, next they went on to um, this game that they announced last year, this re- recall. Yeah, yeah, recall. So yeah. it's like. They um, finally announced what it is. <laughs> yeah, no they one knew what it was. Gameplay of what it yeah, is. I'm, so I'm still I still don't fence. know what it was because yeah, I, I missed it. <laughs> basically, you're this character called Jewel, and um, you've been sent to this world, Eden something. Yeah. And uh, it, you've sort of been tasked with uh, terraforming the place because they, uh, something bad's happened to Earth. And you go to you sort of go into a stasis, and you left robots to take care of it. And you expect to wake up to a paradise, and you wake up and everything's gone to shit. All right. So all these robots have gone bad. You, you're trying to figure out why, and then you've also got a task. You still want to terraform this like world. Cap- is it like the plot to Terminator? <laughs> Sounds pretty. Cool. <laughs> it's, 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 similar. Robots chasing you. <laughs> it's pretty much. Except you're not going to be your own dad. But yeah, you've got a robot dog. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and gorillas as well. You've got a robot gorilla. And um, what else? Like a robot spider. They've all got names. Like really, <laughs> really spider. mundane names. Like Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff is one, but they're similar it's to that. Like, yeah. Carl Stan. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, it's it, like it's it's sort of like an RPG shooter. So you're shooting, you're shooting like different yeah. coloured monsters with different coloured guns. You yeah. match, match colour of your guns to the colour of a monster. And okay. you're I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get it. I don't I think I'll get I'm, not, it. I'm not sold on it yet, but... Unless they make it free. I'm going to want it, yeah. <laughs> make it free. Yeah. Which they <laughs> will not. No, it's not going to be free. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. It's September, September 13th. Yeah. On Xbox okay. One PC. And then they showed some Division, uh, this expansion that they're doing, um, Underground Manhattan. All right. We Is don't it more so? I, I, I see oh, an you interesting stuff about the Division. Oh, did you? Let's hear about it. Since its launch, it's lost ninety three percent of its. Yeah. Wow! I'm one of those. Based. I'm one of those. So that I is a massive those. percentage. Yeah. Put the beta. That's about it. It just yeah, the end game wasn't there really, and, wow. the, and it was, it's, it's just glitchy. It's glitch after glitch. It's after glitch. All right. It's knackered. Yeah. So that's happening. Twenty eighth of June. If you're interested, not many people are. <laughs> no. So uh, next thing else, they showed some more Final Fantasy stuff. See Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Yeah, all tricks. <laughs> uh, they showed off some more like sort of general gameplay. They didn't show anything new. It's just sort of boss battles and stuff. Don't need to talk about that much. Uh, just more of the same. That's uh, September thirtieth. That's coming out. Okay. Uh, they showed off Minecraft Realms. No one. Do we write? Do I we don't play Minecraft. Minecraft. Don't play Minecraft. I've never no. played it. Right. We'll skip across that one. That's just the the, the big thing was uh, you can play it on anything. Okay. So you can play it on 
iOS, iPad. Can you play it on Xbox? Xbox. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not, camera, right? not, cross you'll, 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 yeah, not cross play. I know, man. Oh, oh cross play. Yeah. Yeah. You can play a person who's playing on Xbox on your iPad. Even yeah. yeah. Wii U. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of Wii U cool. as yeah. well. Or, I yeah. don't know about Wii U. Or, 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 any, it says any platform that a Minecraft yeah, is on, you yeah. can play with anyone who's on any other the platform. The only game that you can. Probably. Yeah, that might be true. So that's probably, that's really interesting. There's a new IP that they showed next. They're from the creators of Limbo. Which was that two D? Yeah, oh yeah, that was a cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. game. Uh, Inside, it's called. And there's not, they didn't really show much. There was a really vague, vague trailer. Okay. It was so very dark. Yeah, it was a teaser. Yeah. What like, is I, it? It's 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 another side scroller. Yeah. Oh, I think you play as like a sort of kid, like an eleven year old. Okay. And, and it looks sort of set in a war where you just sort of, and it's just it's stealthy, really. Okay. It's a stealth game. Yeah. Side not scroller. Which shown. It's yeah. Side scrolls are. Yeah. I don't like to say that they're limited, but... Yeah, well, Mario, look where he's gone. <laughs> Still going, pal. <laughs> yeah, this won't get there. Uh, this is June 29th, Xbox One only, not PC. Okay. Um, and then they went on to talk about some of the new console features. Yeah. Like, um, you can get background music now. Yeah, but I thought, with background music, I thought they were going to release a Spotify app for the Xbox One. Yeah. That's but what it needs. They did it not. Does, yeah. they it's on PS4, anything. why not Xbox One? Yeah, I know. They must have some sort of... Yeah, they must have deal. exclusive rights to yeah. it. Stupid. Yeah. Um, also, Cortana. We're getting Cortana. some Cortana. Support. Yeah, Windows 10. It's kind so of cool. Chat. I feel like Master yeah. Chief. Yeah. yeah. Shall <laughs> yeah. Cortana. Cortana. <laughs> how much of a Like, how often do you use Siri? It's the sort of, same sort of vein. I use Siri. I use Siri. Oh, yeah. really? My Siri is switched me. off. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, yeah. it's a really clever engine, though, they've got the. But what's that voice, for? It's sort of like. Commands. It is, yeah, so it's like play. Yeah, because you've got Cortana on your Windows 10 machines already, so. It's just been... You've got the same sort of functionality on like, Connect, but you have to say specific phrases to, to, to okay. launch something. But with Cortana, you can just sort of generalise and it'll pick up what you mean. So that's sort of the big deal we'll with see. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then talk, talk about we'll see. Talking about arenas yeah. and clubs and stuff. Where you the clubs, sort of the clubs your looks cool, though. I reckon that's cool. Yeah, probably do a shed cool now. Yeah, well. that'll be yeah, cool. The thing is, yeah, does, do the clubs need to be game-specific? Or do they? can they be... I don't know. They showed a couple of just examples. Community yeah. of I think you can just literally go and make your own one. Alright, we'll yeah, do a shed. Yeah, sort of community. We'll invite, we'll invite some guys to come over from YouTube. Yeah. We'll have a play. Yeah. So. Well, um, and then they've got the looking for group stuff on LFGs. there as well. Yeah, yeah. You're on LFGs, which is when you're looking for someone to play with on Destiny or something like that. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, I think one of my favourite things about the Microsoft conference is they showed their new controllers. Yeah. Where you can go on the, the Xbox Design Labs website, customize, oh, customize your own I'm controller. customizing the shit out of one of them. <laughs> yeah, I went. I, I customized one today. I didn't buy it. I'm just trying to see eighty uh, eighty eighty dollars. Oh, Jesus, eighty, 80, 80 dollars per controller. Eight dollars. Oh, eighty dollars. Oh, yeah, oh, Fifty quid. Something like that. Sixty quid. Yeah, in, the, in that region. It'll that probably region. eighty quid. <laughs> but, probably. You know, you can you can sort of laser tag. Uh, laser tag, laser, <laughs> laser, laser engrave. Uh, what word in onto it? Yeah. That's an extra ten dollars. What if I just wanted to put G on it? Extra $10. Yeah, but by are they just, <laughs> are they just yeah. your money's worth. Are they just standard controllers or are they the new S controllers? They're the new S controllers. Yes. Oh, okay. So they've got the grip yeah. and the cool uh, thumb pads and some sticks even. So that's cool. Uh, then they showed the We Happy Few. Yeah, I, I've seen this. It's that looks really cool. Is that a really creepy one? London? Yeah, so it's like it's like a dystopian London, nineteen sixties. Yeah, I've seen a bit of that. It was really weird. Yeah, so yeah. the basic backstory is like completely. something's happened in the world, and yeah. they've produced this drug called Joy, and everyone yeah. takes it. Oh yeah, I have it. Yeah, to I didn't forget see this. about their past. Yeah, and um, it, it's really vague what the guy's doing at the start, yeah. but like he's reading like newspaper articles. Yeah. his job is to redact history so he goes through all newspaper articles all right. and he redacts anything that sort of is not happy oh, okay. so, he, so he's just deleting history yeah um, and it's just sort of a world where if you yeah. don't take joy you're an outcast and they, yeah. they force you to take joy yeah. because they're all living in denial huh? it seems cool it looks like Bioshock it looks really yeah, like yeah, Bioshock similar to Bioshock Bioshock yeah. is Bioshock cool yeah. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that that's July 26 so that's not long that's either not, yeah. so yeah that's cool <laughs> and everyone, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to this Gwent Stand well, yay. Yay. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah, table yeah. is divided. <laughs> <laughs> line right here. Yeah. yeah, so 
they sort of revamped the 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 table you play on. There's all new cards, all the cards that are existed. Some of them have been changed for um, balancing purposes. And my strategy that I actually use in the game has completely been wiped. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's horrible. I really, I really misinterpreted all that because I thought they were just bringing out the cards. <laughs> I thought that originally because yeah, they didn't announce it was so a they're game. Not, they're not well, bringing out cards as well. No, well they haven't they said. Did. They haven't said. I reckon they will. They probably if, will. Can, if this takes off, the like, fans have said make a Gwent game, and I'll say make the cards. They've got, yeah. they got cards with the collector's edition, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. they bring out another deck of cards. There's a new deck with a new DLC yeah. they released. So there's a new faction, so there's another deck they can release there if people want it. So that looks pretty good. Cool. Uh, there's a fully voiced campaign <laughs> in a card game. I don't, like, that's cool. That's cool. I, just, I don't understand. Yeah, no, no, there could be some good banter like, there. Yeah, like, like, which is really good for stories, so I guess that's yeah. Yeah. You know, it's something that'd be cool. Playing Gwent in some dingy purpose in there. <laughs> yeah, I can adjust how dingy the purpose is. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a slider. Like, like a slider, <laughs> yeah. How dingy do you want this to be? <laughs> Right the best yeah. thing. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Uh, next, this guy we were talking about earlier, the, 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 the guy in the shades, Japanese guy in the kimono. Oh, yeah. He Tekken, came out yeah. and it was Tekken 7, which we all sort of knew was happening yeah. because they were working on Street Fighter X Tekken, but they delayed yeah. that to yeah. work on... Oh, it was Tekken X Street Fighter to work on the Tekken. And it looks really good. I didn't know there was a Tekken 4, 5, or 6. <laughs> oh, my God. Where, where have you been? <laughs> Tekken's my favourite fighting game of all time, I think. Maybe Smash Bros. Smash Bros. is fine. It's a part of Smash Bros. But that I kind think. of fighting game, it's completely different Smash. It's, yeah, yeah. It's so it's my favourite 2D fighter. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it looks really, really nice. Like, there's a new engine, and it looks cool. And there's an in-depth story mode, which I'm excited about. In-depth. In-depth, whatever that means. Well, they've always kind of had, like, a story mode, Yeah, so, like, you go through the arcade mode, and then at the end, you get, like, a two-minute sort of prologue. Uh, that's cool. Some of the characters epilogue. are quite cool. Someone that comes after prologue or epilogue. Uh, epilogue. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes of ending for the story. So that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, this week, I think it might end today. Um, you can just get Tekken Tag Tournament Two. Okay, so you've missed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you've missed it. You've missed it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just buy it on PS2 for two quid. But you uh, need a PS2. Buy a PS2 for two quid as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably get a PS2 with Tech and Tech for two quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Free delivery. Um, Q1 next year. Just oh, Xbox One. Well, no, Xbox One, PS4, and PC, actually. Then he went to show Dead Rising 4, which I'm sure no one else cares about. I've played Dead Rising. It's all right. Yeah, it's I, haven't, I, haven't I, played Dead I haven't picked it up like myself, but. I've played all of them so far. I, I love the series. Yeah. And they're reintroducing the original character from the first game, Frank West. And it's the same mall from the first game, but they've also put in the town around it. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. It's so. it's a good zombie game because it's like it's they emphasize fun. But is it gonna yeah. be too much like the mall? Yeah, is it gonna <laughs> be like a remastered demo? Yeah. Well, because there was a big zombie uprising in that mall, the story is that, you know, they've redone the mall. They've remade it. <laughs> <laughs> so they've remade it the they said, and zombies like, have the, invaded like, again. The main features about the mall will be there. Because it's like a throwback to people who play the first it's one. It's probably going to be the same mall, isn't it? Just with more weapons. More small shops with <laughs> yeah. more stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, love, on like, screen. I love the idea of playing a, game, a zombie game in a mall because there's just so many shops and so many different weapons you can go yeah, to. Yeah, it was quite use. fun, like picking up random heads and yeah. putting them on like zombies. You can go to the toy shop and get a Lego head and put yeah. on a zombie's head and just take pictures of it because it's digital cameras. So. It's just a game for wasting time with it. It is exactly yeah. that, yeah. It's just really fun, wacky. I, I never went through more, the story. More so than most games. <laughs> they were timed as well so it's quite hard but they've got rid of the whole timed feature so there's no it's time limit like a sandbox have um, and they could have yeah, yeah go crazy thousands of zombies on the screen at one time nice. which is pretty cool yeah um, and it's set at Christmas time so you've got some Christmas themed zombie weapons as well sounds good I want the thing is for me though I'd like some more depth to it what for a mean? full price What's the depth, though? It's not deep enough. There's not enough in it. There's not enough to justify <laughs> paying 60 quid for... There, for me, there is. For is me, there, there absolutely yeah. is. I love it. Maybe you should just borrow it off Gaming. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've got all three. I'll, so just, get, I'll just get it when it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, so that's in December 6th. Right in time for Christmas. Uh, sea of Thieves next. Yeah. Was, we were all I'm looking on. forward to that. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. Yeah, okay. Pirates. Whatever. Got got didn't like, it. Didn't like the art style. What? Oh, the art style is what I love about yeah. it. Yeah, oh, it's childish. It's too childish. It's not. I don't like pirate games after playing the Assassin's Creed one. Uh, <laughs> this is a pirate. It is an MMO, isn't it? it, it they haven't come out and said that. 
But I think it People is. People are just assuming it is. Yeah, they assume it is. You think going around in a pirate ship, sailing the seas sounds fun, until you actually do it. <laughs> and it is fucking boring. It's just sea shanties yeah. over and over again. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it considered a good game, though? Yeah, people love I that game. Love that game. Yeah, I, 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 I like that I don't game. know what it's about. I know it's I like it. It is I've, so yeah, I've not played it, so. I, I, the I like the Assassin's Creed. I put about seat, 40 uh, hours into that game. So. Before there you go, we played it. <laughs> it is so rubbish. You put 40 hours into a game you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Genie logic. <laughs> Would you like it? So we put four hours into this one. Yeah, well. no. I don't like it. Yeah. So <laughs> when people were saying like, is it an MMO? They were more like, actually, we're trying to make sort of an action adventure. Oh, good. So, cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it. The sea, the sea, like the water effects, just like water looks ace in that yeah, game. Yeah, it all looks really cool. Yeah, and just all... just wait until you're like. 30 miles away from land <laughs> and he's just in the sea and they're still out. singing I'll go back now <laughs> and they're still singing yeah, that stupid need... song you, <laughs> you, <it's> like... <laughs> you can get drunk you can just drink some rum in, yeah, that like, cool, in this yeah. cabin so that's cool yeah. GTA you've, you've, actually, you've, got, to the, you've got to put the sails up you've got to make sure like yeah, drop steer. out <laughs> yeah it, it, it takes multiple people to take sails out if, you, if someone's firing um, cannons at your sort of base of your ship your leaks in the bottom of your ship you've got to go patch up the leaks yeah. I'm kind of worried how this will play out as a solo person game. Yeah, you can't really manage a shit. Nah, around. unless you can like match <laughs> matchmaking in a crew running like, around. Yeah, LFG crew like. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there's no no. Actually, that's why I'm Microsoft thinking. are bringing out their LFG group ready, oh, yeah, yeah, ready yeah, for just, CFCs. Yes, fine, yeah, great. February that's come out as well, so it's not too long away. We're kind of kind of. But still, a little scene of it. There wasn't much shown at E3. For that, no, really. Like, and there was a really annoying t- t- gameplay of the show where, like, all the players, like, they weren't actors. They were just the most annoying people who oh, could have yeah, played that game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they were so really loud, and everything they did was like hyper over exaggerated. It's just, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, like, they hyped it up, and it was like one of them gameplay yeah, trailers. Yeah, stupid. Where, the know, game looked good. People ruined the yeah. trailer, sort of. So, Project Scorpio. Project Scorpio. Skipping all this, who's gonna get it? No, <laughs> I don't think I'll get it. What did they say? Did, it, did they even say anything? They announced that six teraflops of graphical memory. This is my favorite measurement of it's okay. anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means it means, it means they're gonna use the new the, the new GPU architecture with this Pascal, which is like years, like years and years ahead of what it should be. Okay, and it's just killing all the expensive graphics cards away. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah. and um, Phil Spencer was like um, emphasizing how anything released for Xbox will be playable on any console. Yeah. So no one gets left behind. He said, and he got a me. He got a big applause for that. People love except <laughs> PlayStation <laughs> players. They get left behind. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to buy. Well, obviously they got to buy into the franchise to get that. We'll yeah. see. And uh, another thing he said was, uh, when it ships next year, which I, I guess will be the same time when the next PlayStation oh, is oh, out, yeah. next year yeah. when it ships, we believe it will be the most powerful console ever built, which translated is, fuck you, Sony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's future-proofing. It is good, but there's going to be nothing out for it, I don't think, straight away that's going to... Oh, there'll be, there'll be a few launch titles, you know. Yeah, but nothing that's going to be... Well, didn't they say that like, <laughs> Xbox One yeah. games would work on it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, everything will work on everything. But I don't know if you can get that into VR then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so what, I think, the game they what I think would happen in a few years' VR. time is Scorpio will be the Xbox, and the Xbox One that we have won't. So it'll be yeah. yeah. At some point, our Xbox that we have now has yeah, to get relevant. Yeah. They're secretly like pushing the next generation. Oh, forward. Yeah. They're bringing it. They're bringing it forward. So they're sneaking it in. Probably yeah. Scorpio comes out. Is it twenty seventeen? No release date. But you gotta imagine it's. Christmas time, yeah, holiday, yeah, holiday, 2017. Holiday. So uh, there's a couple more games, but don't really have time. We don't Let's really go into them, and they're, they're minor ones. Doesn't matter. Uh, thanks for watching this wrap up of Microsoft's conference. We'll be doing more of these, so stay with Shednet.